हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम पढ़ेंगे फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ यूट्रस दैट इज सर्विक्स दिस इज डेसीडुआ एंड दिस इज द ओवरी एंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ यूट्रस इज कॉल्ड फेलोपियन ट्यूब व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज यूटराइन ट्यूब एज वी नो as the graphene follicle ruptures the matured ovum is ejaculated from the ovary into the abdominal cavity which is called as ovulation the process of ovulation after ovulation this ovary is captured by the fallopian tube through the fimbriated end through the fimbriated end it enters into the fallopian tube during this period when it enters the ampullary part of the fallopian tube if copulation occurs then the matured sperm will come in contact with the matured ovum the process of fusion of matured ovum with a matured sperm is called as fertilization the process of fusion of two gametes is termed as fertilization after fertilization the ovum which is haploid in number haploid cell become diploid by the both maternal and paternal chromosomes it will get further divided into number of cells first it gets into two numbers two cells and further it divides into four cells by the day of second day it will become four cell and by the third day it will further divide to form eight celled body that is structure which is having eight cells by the third day it will get the eight cell structure so this eight celled structure is called as morula it occurs by the third day of fertilization after that further it moves towards the uterine cavity and it will get divided into number of cells and by the entry of fert into the uterine cavity it will get further division and it will get converted into blastocyst which is covered by a cover called zona pellucida so by the fifth fourth to fifth day the cell enters the uterine cavity which is called as blastocyst after that the covering of the blastocyst that is zona pellucida will get detached that is it will get disappeared by the after the fifth day it will start to degenerate after the this zona pellucida is very important to avoid the implantation when this uh, zona pellucida get detached the blastocyst will attach to the endometrium which is called as implantation that is when the zona pellucida disappears the blastocyst will get attached to the endometrium this is called as implantation so based on the site of implantation the decidua that is endometrium is divided into endometrium and this is this part of decidua is called as decidua basalis it is called as decidua basalis this part will going to form the placenta from this point the placenta will develop and next this part of decidua is called as decidua capsularis decidua capsularis 
this part of decidua that is endometrium will cover the embryo developing embryo is covered by this decidua capsularis and remaining part of endometrium that is other than the decidua basalis and decidua capsularis remaining part of decidua is called as decidua parietalis that is decidua parietalis other than the decidua capsularis and decidua basalis remaining part is called as decidua parietalis this is about the decidual classification and in the next video i will explain about the placenta